On a crowded day, here's what you can face. A seemingly never-ending gridlock all the way to the top of Half Dome. Looks like fun, huh? You're about to make some new friends. And you and all your friends have about 400 feet to go to the top. <laughs> I should have called him new and always like, hello. A hike up the cables can be a total bitch. But if you go ahead and push forward, you can make it to the top. Just got to get around all the people, all the good stuff, but you'll be treated to a truly spectacular view at the top. And I mean, really, really spectacular once you make it all the way to the top. feel like you're on a mountain. It's almost like a plane. It's almost like another planet when you come to think of it. From this side of Half Dome, you can see all the way back to Glacier Point, a view few people ever get to see, unless of course they climb to the top of Half Dome. So now that we've spent some time up here, we'll go ahead, take the journey back down, and head back to camp. And now we'll take the cables back down, and the four and a half mile journey back to the top of Nevada Falls. So as we descend, a good part of the trail is the same part that we took up. What's going to happen when we get to Nevada Falls, we're going to split and we're going to take the other side down. If you took your time on the way up, chances are it's probably going to start getting dark on your way back. So just in case something slows you up, make sure you have a flashlight or a headlamp or some other sort of illumination to help you on your way back. Eventually you'll make it back to Nevada Falls. And you'll want to take the trail to the right, down the mile and a half of steps. As opposed to the John Muir Trail, the Mist Trail is a lot steeper. So although I might say it's a little easier going down, it really takes a number out on your joints. So make sure you take your time. Because if you slip one of these guys, you're really going to hurt yourself. On the way down, the view of Nevada Falls is truly spectacular. Eventually, you'll make it to the top of Vernal Falls, which has a great lookout. This will take us to the official top of the Mist Trail. See all that water? The Mist Trail is going to take us right through that, so be prepared to get wet. And looking back, a gorgeous view of Vernal Falls from the Mist Trail. And soon you'll be back at the first bridge, recrossing the Merced River from so long ago. You know, just because you're on your way out, 
doesn't mean there's no more uphills. From here on out, it's up and down and up and down and up and down. Well, that's about it. We're just about back to the beginning and ready to head back to camp. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as I've enjoyed making it. See you on the trail.